one is a good number. And the reason for that, now, if you have one child, it's like, I'm not saying, well, that's terrible, man. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> right. I, that's hard yeah. to have one child. Because children, first of all, socialize each other. And they amuse each other. And so we found, so we had two kids. And then my wife also took care of a couple of neighbor kids. That actually, in some ways, made things easier. Because the kids will just run off and amuse themselves. And then what you have to be is around when they have a problem. But they don't want you around, and you don't necessarily want them around. You have adult things to do, right? With one child, you've got the problem of having to amuse the child all the time. And the child has the problem of not having siblings to hash things out at, at a peer-to-peer -peer level. And I think that maybe that one of the reasons the overprotected child, you know, going to university phenomena has emerged is because children are now mostly produced by older couples, so who are more intent on doing everything right for them, but they also don't have enough siblings, so they're not getting sort of, you know, they're like puppies that haven't had enough rough and tumble play with other puppies. Yeah. And they're really like that, I mean, and, and that's not good. We know from the animal developmental studies, like, even with rats, um, social animals don't do that well unless they have peers to get into it with, you know. And a lot of socialization takes place between peers. And so, so I would say two kids minimum because, well, then, then you have kids and they can amuse each other. And maybe three is nice and, you know, but one is, one is, I do not believe that one is easier than two. I don't believe that. One.